G'day everyone, Margie here. Uh, just knocking up a quick and simple New Year's Eve countdown logic system in Notch. Uh, what we've got is a date system, so it's going to read the day and the month, um, and on when that detects it, it's going to be the 1st of January. It'll trigger off this select child node, and it'll move away from this countdown system we have, which is on screen at the moment, into our after New Year's null here using that select child node so just to show you what that will look like is when we turn this dummy modifier on it'll click across to a happy new year and just some fireworks so the logic behind this is we have a new year's countdown basically we're grabbing the clock value here so the hours are in 24 hours uh, we've set this to subtract so it's going to count down backwards and we're adding in 23 here. So this value is text is going to see the clock time taking away from the 23. So if we bring it back into here, it's currently 1.13 a.m. in the morning. So we have that lining up. So that's our countdown. And by default, unless again, this is set to any date besides the 1st of January, is going to put our child node at zero here. The logic we've got going for the date here is actually kind of interesting. So we're taking the day and we're taking that as a value. So the way it's organized, I've actually made it so it looks when you use get value, it only grabs the first value here. So at the moment it's day month here and the one down here for month, we've got month here. So it doesn't matter about the other ones, it just grabs the first value. So here, again, we're going for the 31. And I've got a condition modifier here. It's looking for one. As long as that's constant and equal to threshold, whenever this turns to one, so when this becomes the first of the month, that value will be one. This condition modifier will turn to true. And because it's set to multiply, it'll then multiply whatever this is in the envelope here by one. Currently, it's multiplying by zero. So with this logic in the bottom one as well, if either one of the day or the month are not set to one, there'll be a zero in one of these values and this child node here will always be zero. So zero times anything zero, happy maths. So that was a really nice, easy way of getting the 1st of January to work. So again, you can disregard these little debug nodes here. Basically set, so at the moment it's the, the 30th, so 31st, take away one. Any other date range will only work when it's the one. So when using these, just disable these two parts here or even feel free to delete those two sections completely. Um, this is all commented up. It's it's pretty basic, so feel free just to rip it apart and put whatever you want in. Uh, the text here is just the Open Sans font, so uh, feel free to throw anything fancier in there, add some animations. It's, it's all commented. Uh, everything's pretty well laid out so it's easy to modify the fireworks at the end let's just quickly jump back into here again uh just on a staggered pattern so there's a continuous modifier running through an envelope modifier that just modulo loop it for so at the moment it's basically just going to loop through i've got a quantize on there that quantizes steps every 25 or every quarter of a second and then because that does in steps I'm again using a condition modifier and it's looking for when it's only at 0.5 and that will then fire that particular emitter for a quarter of a second. And this one again at one, one and a half and two seconds. So it's just a, a staggered flash of fireworks for those two seconds there. Alrighty, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic new year um, and a great start to 2021. I uh, look forward to seeing what everyone's putting up on the, the Notch socials and hopefully I'll get to see some of your shows in the coming months or years. Uh, again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, best of luck in 2021. Cheers.